Hello everyone, uh, my name is Scorpius, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert your videos into WMV format so you can play it back on your Xbox 360. Uh, the first method we're going to be using is we're going to be using a free program called VLC Media Player to convert it. So the first thing you want to do is open up Internet Browser. I opened up Firefox as you can see right here. Now, if, now what you can do is you go to your go to the top, go to your URL box, and type in video land 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 dot org slash VLC and hit enter. It should take you to the VLC site. Once you're there. Um, you'll see over here at the bottom where it says download VLC hit download and depending on what your operating system is I'm on Windows right now so I'm going to be downloading the Windows version then it'll take you to a server list um, I'm, I'm American so I'm going to be going at I'm going to go ahead and pick the American server I'm going to click save file it doesn't really matter where you download it from but some people prefer to be closer to your country, own country it usually downloads faster now um, depending on your internet connection this could take a, a while to download I'm um, sorry about that that was just a security thing alright now so I downloaded it now it's on my desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and install it but I already have it installed on my computer so if you're uh, I'm just gonna let you guys handle this step so once you have that installed, delete the installation for, for file. Now once you have that done, go ahead, hit start all programs, video land, and VLC media player. Alright, now you, you're probably wondering at this point, what, what am I going to be doing this? What am I going to be doing with a box like this? Now, that's what I thought too. But VLC can actually do a lot of things but you just have to know how to configure it so what you're gonna well the first thing I want you to do is click file and open file and then it'll take you to this dialog click browse find the file that you want to convert so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my documents my videos go to movies these are all already in WMV format but just just for educational purposes I'm gonna be choosing this one um, Okay, so now once you hit browse and submit, it's your URL to the file should show up here. Now, don't touch any of these panels; just leave it like that. Now, on the same a panel file, click click uh, over here, click stream and save. Hit settings, and then go to target. It should you should see an empty target box like this. Now, what you want to do is output the file. So. Once you hit, check this box off. Now click browse, and then save it to the desktop, preferably. Name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna call it 300 convert one. You can name it whatever you want, but that's just for purposes. Oh, and also since we're gonna be converting to WMV format, you can add a dot m WMV at the end. So so your whole URL should end up like this. Okay, now um, here come. Now we're gonna go back, go down over here to encapsulation method. I want you to choose ASF. Now we're gonna go down to video codec. Click that. Uh, click the drop down box. Hit WMV two. Um, keep the bit rate at one thousand twenty four. Audio codec. Just just check the box off because we're gonna be editing the the target in a second so once you have all these settings checked we're gonna start editing the target code now the first thing you wanna do is you make sure that your V codec is set at VMD2 now VB should be at 1024 scale should be at 1 and where it says A codec change change it from MPEG A to WMA that makes sure that it comes out as Windows Media uh, Windows Media Audio. Keep the W A keep the A B at 192 channels at two. Now go to Access File. It should be right after um, Channels. You see duplicate. DST should be set at STD, and the Access File should be at at um, File. 
and MUX should be at ASF. That's encapsulation method, which you already have set over here. So should be all done with that. Now make sure, make, basically what the most important thing you gotta look for here, you gotta look for here is make sure that the V codec and the A codec are set at WMV2 and WMA. Click hit OK and then click OK over here. Now the first thing, the first thing you'll see is, um, you you see like this progress bar running across, and the time. Basically, what this is doing is it's basically playing the movie into the format that you um, wanted it to change to. So as you can see on my desktop, I see WMV, and that's what it's that's the conversion file. Obviously, you don't want to go ahead and open that yet. Wait till the whole thing finishes. Now I want to tell you guys, VLC isn't the best way to convert videos, but if you're looking for a quick conversion method, and it works about 80% of the time, so yeah, you can use this. But with widescreen movies, this this doesn't end up really good. So if you're going to be converting a widescreen, I wouldn't suggest you do it. You, you can look for one of my other tutorials for that. But yeah, if you're going to convert a full screen, or some kind of DVD format, just use it. And I'll